what's going on guys welcome back to another video and today I'm gonna to be showing you my personal and best settings in Apex Legends these are the settings that allow me to get those high kill games whether it's 17 16 18 uh, even those 20 bombs uh, as you can see on the screen I have 458 season 1 wins I have 9,000 kills I'm so close to 10,000 I can't wait to hit that but yeah I totally recommend that you guys go with something that you're comfortable with and just something that fits your playstyle but I want to just show you my settings and what I do uh, what I have to just you know hit those shots and just win more gunfights in Apex Legends so if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to hit that like button it only takes one second and if you're new to my channel and you want to see more of this type of content I try to upload daily Apex Legends here on my channel don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button uh, but without further ado let's get right into it alright guys so my sensitivity is 4 and my ADS sensitivity is 3 I used to play on 5-4 but I felt like I was missing too many shots and I was losing too many gunfights uh, especially from hip fire so I went on and just made a change you know if you're committed and you want to really get better in this game you have to not be afraid to make those little changes so I went from 5-4 to 4-3 and I just saw a complete difference I was hitting more shots, I was winning more gunfights, and especially my hip fire shots, they were insane. I was not missing any shots, and I was able to wipe out more squats. So yeah, if you guys want to try that out, 4-3, go for it, you know? Don't give up on two or three games. You got to keep going. You got to really commit, and you got to just keep trying. You cannot give up. Before we continue with my settings, I just want to show you guys this quick clip of me versus this lifeline. It's a 1v1 situation, and look at how comfortable I look and how I'm just able to completely melt her. And just look at how I'm able to lead her, you know, with my sights and just, she doesn't stand a chance. Check it out. Alright, so the next thing is vibration. If you have this on, I do not know why you do, but I really suggest that you turn it off. There's no reason to, you know, keep vibration. All it does is just distract your hands, I guess, like, uh... I can honestly say it really did improve my gameplay when I turned it off, especially back in Fortnite. Ever since Fortnite, I've turned off my vibration and I moved on to Apex and here I go again, I have it off and you know, I just feel like my gameplay is on a whole nother level. So we're going to go ahead and stay around on the controller side of things. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my button layout. Do not judge me. <laughs> I do play on Grenader and some of you guys are probably like thinking what the hell. But like I said, go with what you're most comfortable with and this is what I'm most comfortable with. It puts grenades on R1, it puts uh, ping right here, and it puts heal right here on the right. Uh, so when I'm running or just when I'm just trying to get out of a sticky situation, I just feel like I'm able to heal up so fast because it's right next to my left joystick. Like I said, my heal is right here on the right and then on my joystick. So yeah, that's, that's just how I feel that is most important to me, just healing up in important situations like that. Uh, like I said, it has the ping right here. It does take a little to get used to, but... I do see a bunch of people playing on default, uh, button puncher, bumper jumper, uh, I have not seen anyone on Grenader, I'm probably like the only person in the world, but yeah, like I said, this is what I'm most comfortable with, uh, this is what I play with, this is what allows me to get those high kill games, and you know, if it's working out, why not stick to it? So now we're going to go over to the gameplay side of things, and I personally don't think there's anything that could really just drastically change your gameplay I mean other than I guess uh, crosshair damage feedback and damage numbers I do see a bunch of people moving it to off now uh, I used to have it on both uh, but now I have it on stacking who knows maybe I'll put it to off uh, it does it does seem right I mean people do say it does distract you looking at the numbers as you're shooting your opponent so yeah if you want to go ahead and try that out put it on off but for right now I have it on stacking but yeah like I said I personally don't think there's anything much here on the gameplay side of things that could just really change your gameplay uh, I mean if you guys want to see less on your screen if you're more if you're comfortable with everything you could go from default to compact or on to off for like the button hints but other than that I don't think there's anything you could really change on here so now we're going over to the video side of things and I'm gonna go ahead and tell you right now if you don't have your field of view at a hundred or more I highly recommend that you do as you can see right here I have it on 110 but like I said as long as it's a hundred or more you know the more the better in my opinion but I believe the default was at like what what is it 70 so it just makes a complete difference you see more of the map and you're gonna be able to just win way more gunfights in my opinion 
And it's so weird because I tried going back to 70 uh, for one game and it just feels so different. It's so crazy. I can see, I can't see anything in my opinion. So yeah, I highly recommend that you guys move it up to 110. If not, like I said, 100 or better, it'll really take your game to a whole nother level. Also, the sprint view shake, this is kind of normal. I think this is uh, season one. They added this in season one, but uh, it was on normal. I would highly recommend as well that you put it to minimal. So when you're running, your uh, screen doesn't shake, obviously. Uh, you're able to see clearly and you can see more enemies. I feel like the view shake is, it really just distracts you and you're not able to see as much as you want. I just want to show you guys another quick clip. It's me and my guy versus an entire group in the storm. It is a pretty sticky situation, but I'm able to take out the entire group. And uh, yeah, and I feel like that's due to my field of view. And like I said, my sensitivity, four to three, I'm able to have high accuracy and just hit those hip fire shots. And I'm so comfortable. Just check it out. Got on me. And lastly is the audio, which I feel like doesn't make, you know, in my opinion, a huge difference as well. Obviously, you should have your master and sound effects volume to 100. Dialogue, I do have it to 30. You know, I feel like I'm able to hear when it's that low. Uh, music volume, I have it at 5. There's no reason to have it extremely high, especially when you're landing. Uh, you know, the music doesn't stop for a couple seconds, so you should be able to hear those around you. Uh, lobby music volume, I have it at zero because I'm already horrible at listening to people. Uh, so yeah, like I said, I have it at zero, so I'm able to hear my teammates when we're just here in the lobby, just chilling. But yeah, guys, those are my settings. Like I said, this is my opinion for the best settings. Uh, just playing with a low sensitivity, being able to hit those hip fire shots. Uh, I feel like they get me out of these sticky situations, whether it's a 1v3 or 1v2. I'm able to win more gunfights, and I'm just so comfortable. So if you guys want to go ahead and use my settings, you know, go ahead, be my guest, try it out for, I would say, a couple days. Don't give up, you know, within three games. If you want to try out my settings, give it a couple days and just keep trying. But like I said, go with what you're most comfortable with. Go with what fits more of your play style, you know, because in the end of the day, it all depends on you. So yeah, to go ahead and wrap up this video, I got some pretty smooth gameplay for you guys. I got 15 solo kills in this game. Uh, it just looks so clean. Just look at my hip fire and how I'm able to hit these shots in the beginning of the gameplay and in the end of the gameplay. So, you know, stick around for it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, like I said, if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to hit that like button. It only takes one second. And if you're new to my channel and you want to see more of this, I try and upload daily Apex Legends here on my channel. And uh, so don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Another group, another group. He's hurt. He's hurt in there. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, that was like three groups, bro. I got five. Holy. Uh, they're over there. Over there. I think I heard footsteps behind us. Oh, I knocked one. Enemy down. Dude, I cracked picked him up. Yes, chef. You picked him up? Yeah. I got a down. I got one more. Yeah, that's one's on top. That's coming down. Yeah, he's hurt. Very 
boy. Tank! What? Let's go! What? You saw that? Ooh. What? <laughs> that was so what? smooth. Oh my, that whole ending was crazy. You are the apex Ooh, champions. let's go, baby. I'm smooth with it. Yo, what's up with me and number 15, bro? I, I always 25. Oh. I got shit. Five.